In Wyoming, this is a pretty familiar sight. Mule deer are on the move, hustling to get to their winter home. Their motivation? Food. And they know the way there. Twice a year, deer move between summer and winter ranges, following a distinct traditional pathway to ensure the best chance of survival. The journey ungulates like deer, elk, and antelope embark upon annually is known as migration, and they have been making the same trip for thousands of years in pursuit of nutritious food. Wyoming's ungulates, especially mule deer, are extremely consistent in their migration, embarking on nearly identical paths annually, following in the footsteps of the herds that came before them. The knowledge of where to go isn't genetic, it's taught to wildlife by their mothers. Migrations cover long distances, up to hundreds of miles, so they have rest stops along the way. Biologists call these places stopover areas, where migrating wildlife spend as much as 95% of their time during their trek. The stopover areas provide key food sources to keep them charged up so they can complete the arduous journey ahead. Right now, this deer is leaving its summer range, where it spent warmer months of the year fattening up and raising its young. Extra fat helps fuel deer along their migration routes and survive the winter. And for pregnant does, carry healthy fawns through Wyoming's harsh winters. Staying in higher elevation on the summer range would mean deep snow, little access to food, and a little to no chance of survival. Deer and other ungulates have migrated for thousands of years, but the details of their migration haven't been fully understood until wildlife managers started using satellite GPS technology to track their steps. GPS collar data from Wyoming's various wildlife herds have confirmed what many landowners, wildlife managers, and researchers suspected, showing the migration corridors of ungulates like mule deer and pronghorn and elk in Wyoming are some of the most spectacular and longest in North America. The collars show each year animals retrace their steps to the same locations. Ungulates will adjust when they decide to commence migration, depending on changes in weather and food availability. By placing GPS collars on many animals, wildlife managers can study population level trends that would otherwise be hard to analyze. After connecting the points of location data from a single animal's GPS collar, wildlife managers can see one animal's migration route. To identify high-use portions of the corridor, wildlife managers merge data from all collared animals to confirm the routes with the most use which are the places with the highest importance to the survival of migrating wildlife populations. GPS collar data has validated what wildlife managers have suspected all along. Wildlife need to move to survive. The added detail from collar data has mapped the main migration pathway, important stopover areas, summer and winter ranges, and places where migrations may be challenged due to issues like bottleneck passageways, human disturbance, or roadway barriers. By using science to understand the traditional migration corridors wildlife depend on, we can ensure that we're able to conserve Wyoming's many iconic migrating species like mule deer and pronghorn. <laughs>